All right, so I wanted to show the uh, the slider problems that I'm having in Storyline 360. So first off, this is Storyline 2. I built this in Storyline 2. Uh, it's a fairly um, straightforward interaction. I mean, it's a little complex to build, but the way it works is you click and drag, and as you drag uh, different kind of elements along this timeline or this process, whatever you have used this for, will kind of come out from the sides uh, and uh, there's a big slider that's hidden here and you're moving through that slider. Now this is also Storyline 2 and the only difference is you can see the slider here. Um, well I'm sorry, th there's a big slider here but this is a secondary slider using the same variable. So as I click and drag that's going to move too because I'm sliding through that, uh, I'm sliding the slider, it's changing the variable and it's changing this here. Now I can click this and drag it up and down. Uh, there's no jumpiness. See, it's all nice and smooth. And you'll understand what I mean by jumpiness when I go to 360. So this is 360. Now I'm going to click, this is the same project, uh, still HTML5. Now if I click anywhere and drag, you can see how it jumps. See how this jumped way down here. And uh, you'll see in a minute why that is happening. Uh, now once it jumps, I can drag it around and it's fine. It's, it's after the jump that's the problem. Now let's say I click at the top of the thumb. You will notice that as I start to drag the thumb, I'm still at the top of the thumb, but as I reach kind of midway on the slider, see my cursor is now in the middle of the thumb. As I keep going down, now my cursor is at the bottom of the thumb on this slider. And if I go back to the, up at the top and I click the bottom of the thumb, see how it moves the top of the thumb down to where it should be. It's determining it should be under the hood uh, of Storyline 360. It jumps it so that it can be in the proper position. I'm using quotes, you can't see that. Position. Um, now as I drag, you can see it, it just still tries to keep itself at that certain spot. So that, whatever it's doing under the hood to keep you in the certain spot is causing a jump which is just leads to a very poor user experience using the slider. If I go back to 2, Storyline 2, and I click at the bottom, see there's no jump, and as I scroll down to the middle, see the cursor is still at the bottom of that thumb. As I move all the way to the bottom, it's in the same place. That's a big difference between 2 and 360 is that slider will stay in the place that I clicked it no matter where I drag it, no matter where it is positioned on the slider itself. So, uh, you know, I like to build these kind of interactions. I feel like I mean, I really like the way that this interaction feels. I can click and drag and kind of lead you to kind of want to see more, but I can only do this in Storyline 2. I can't do it in Storyline 360. It just it falls apart only because of the slider. So I don't know if there's any plan to uh, update this or fix this or if it's even if it's considered a problem. You know, I feel it was reprogrammed for whatever reason and... Um, you know, it's certainly not working the way I'd expect. So very interested to know if that's something that can be, uh, you know, remedied, if that's something that could be fixed uh, in, in a future update. So thank you.